Welcome to Glogster, creating your first glog. To begin, head to glogster.com in the browser. Then click the blue Create Glog button. Once the page loads, head to the top and give your glog a name. That's it. You've now created your first glog. Now with your first glog created, you need to choose a background. To do this, choose Wall from the tool panel on the side. Look for a neutral background so that text stands out when laid on top. Select the background, then click Use It. Let's have a look at adding graphics and text to your glog. By default, there's a couple of elements on the page. You can modify these by selecting, then using the handles in the corners or on the sides to rotate and resize the object. If you'd like to edit the text, simply click Edit This Element. Then you're in Text Edit Mode. When you're done, click OK. If you decide you don't want that element, Simply select it, and then click Delete. Let's add some additional graphics. Select Graphics from the tool pane on the left. Glogster has a number of elements you can add. These are divided by categories. Select a category, then choose the appropriate item. Then click Use It. That object then appears on your glog. Position it as required, then add some text. Text comes in a variety of fashions. Choose one that suits your needs. Click Use It, and again, that object is added to the page. Once you're happy with your masterpiece, you're going to need to save it or publish it. Do that by going to the Save or Publish button at the top. Ensure you're happy with the name. Choose a category. Fill in some tags. And before you click Save, ensure you've selected the right privacy settings. Either make it public or private. Then click Save. You're done. You've just created your first glog. However, to edit this in the future, you'll need to register for an account. If you already have an account, log into that account, and this glog will be saved against that account. If you still require further assistance, please contact Learning Innovation.